We're going to turn now to the growing freeze between the United States and Russia, a possible new chapter of a Cold War heating up. We're learning this morning it was President Obama himself who canceled his summit meeting with Vladimir Putin, saying it just wasn't worth it. And ABC's Jonathan Carl is in Washington this morning with the very latest here. John, good morning to you. Good morning, Josh. Well, the president's decision to cancel that summit with Vladimir Putin comes as U.S.-Russian relations are at their frostiest since the Cold War. The last time Putin and Obama got together, the tension was obvious as they clashed over Syria. Now the relationship is even worse. The last time a U.S. president canceled a planned meeting in Russia was 1960, the height of the Cold War, before even the Cuban Missile Crisis. Putin has carefully crafted his image as a Russian strongman, showing off his physique on horseback, dominating foes in the hockey rink and on the judo mat. And just last month, catching some mighty big fish. He's even perfected the art of the icy stare. That seems to be his preferred style during press conferences, is kind yeah. of sitting back and yeah. uh, uh, not looking too excited. In canceling the Moscow summit, the White House cited not just Russia's decision to grant temporary asylum to NSA leaker Edward Snowden, but also a long list of grievances on issues ranging from human rights to trade to global security. We're not afraid to make public or, uh, or to state clearly where we have disagreements. Another cloud over the Russian relationship is the country's recently passed homophobic law that outlaws talking about homosexuality in front of children or even displaying a rainbow flag in public. That has some suggesting there should be a boycott of the upcoming Winter Olympics in Sochi, Russia. If Russia uh, wants to uh, uphold the Olympic spirit, then every judgment should be made on the track or in the swimming pool sure. or uh, on the balance beam, and it, uh, people's sexual orientation shouldn't have anything to do with it. The president there was citing venues of the Summer Olympics. It is obviously the Winter Olympics that are coming up in Russia. But his point was clear. As chilly as relations here are with Russia, nobody at the White House is suggesting that an Olympic boycott should even be considered. That is just not on the table. All right, John. Thanks so much.